When Jeremiah finished speaking all that the Lord bade him speak to all the people, the priests and prophets laid hold of him, crying, You must be put to death. In today's first reading, we hear the reaction to Jeremiah prophesying the destruction of Jerusalem. Ever hear the expression, don't kill the messenger? You know, that must be what Jeremiah is thinking here. The troubling attitude is that those that are hearing his message, actually specifically the priests and the prophets, the religious folk, the ones who probably should know better, they think that it's really just that, his message, Jeremiah's message, or that the fact he's verbalizing a warning somehow causes it to be. They forget that Jeremiah is simply the messenger, and that the message is a warning from God for their own good. One thing that we can take from this is that living out our baptismal call to be prophetic is no easy task. Truth is not always what is popular, and sharing the truth may anger those around us. Now that doesn't mean our intention is to anger others. Actually, I think that's where we get lost nowadays. We utilize truth as a weapon rather than as a goal or an ideal. In that mindset, truth becomes a means rather than the end itself. So it's important for us to remember that in our prophetic role, we must share the truth with an attitude of love, not spite. Indeed, Jeremiah's message and the message of all the prophets come as warnings that are given because of God's great love for his people. But even in that love, however, rejection is still a very real possibility. So let us today pray for the courage to share the truth, the prudence and wisdom to do so in love, and the fortitude to carry on through rejection.